All right, we are here at the Ag Expo, and we are going to go look at all this equipment behind me. So the Ag Expo here in Idaho, this is where everybody comes and brings their new equipment that they want to show off and showcase. So we're going to look at all this new equipment and see what new products everybody's got, and we'll uh, we'll show you a little bit of what everything is here. Right here, we have a starting off with a double L scooper. So this is how they take the potatoes out of the cellars. So it's got this little. It's like a little expandable attached to the back of the scooper and the scooper, it drives into the potatoes and just scoops them up. This is a nice big one. This would be much, a much bigger upgrade from ours. This thing looks pretty nice, but this is double L. So there's a lot of companies that make potato equipment. Double L's here and Lockwood's here and there's a few other companies here. So this is their big scooper. It looks pretty beefy too. Like you could run a lot of potatoes across it and you're not gonna break it. So, looks pretty nice. So here's one of Double L's big pilers. It's nice that they've, they've started making the booms sturdier so they don't have all the extra bracing on top. So this looks like a big, big, pretty nice piler. We have a couple of Double L beds is what we have from theirs. We don't have too much Double L stuff, but they do make a lot of potato equipment. Check out the controller, it's joystick. You got joystick controller? Run this thing. That's pretty cool. Ours just has buttons, but nice big wide chain. Holy smokes, look at the size of that roller. That's like a foot foot diameter roller. This thing is a pretty big piler. And you got all your weights on the front to, to weigh it down. Belted chain on, on top. There's one thing I can see, they could improve it. It's got belted chain, but there's no liner on the bottom, so it's all the dirt's just gonna fall. Oh, except for right, right here. You got a liner and a chute, but then all your weights and stuff are gonna get covered in dirt. Well, and the liner ends before the top, so it's gonna drop everything down. Right yeah, into. you could uh, definitely put a better liner on there. It's one thing I can see. One thing we just noticed about these giant rollers is this is an electric motor. So this big roller, all, the, all the, the two main belts on the top are powered by electric, not hydraulic. In the past, everything's always been hydraulic, but it seems like companies are starting to go away from hydraulic and go to electric. Kind of crazy. To do electric, you would need a huge power service, like 483 phase or something. So it's kind of crazy that they're going to that because like our sellers don't even have enough power to be able to run something like that. The Circle Z booth. We go visit these guys all the time up in Idaho Falls. Put out some of my uh, my stickers here, but they have all your irrigation parts. So we go here all the time and uh, get rollers and they have lots of rollers and sprockets and gaskets and just all your sprinkler irrigation parts. And they have Milwaukee stuff. So we go there and get that too. All right here, we're just walking past. This is the Logan, Logan equipment. They have all sorts of different type of stuff. These are different hoppers and things. I'm not sure what the exact use for all these are, but they have a big, they have their bit one of their big pilers right here so every they're all similar this one actually has you can see this one has a liner underneath the belt right there so you can't see through and then it drops onto this little side one so this one you're not going to get any dirt on your machine so that's nice it's got the liner up underneath too and then here's your your lovely that is a nice control for this thing. <laughs> yeah our, our guys may not want that one. It's a little too complicated, but this does this does look a lot. It looks very similar to our piler that we have, but it's a big it's a big heavy duty piler. Looks nice. Looks pretty beefy. And then over here they have their they have their this is one of their Logan spud beds. We have a couple Logan Logan beds, and then this is a little like piler they use for loading you can either load trucks you can load planters and stuff and then over here on the other side they have this is their basically their even flow bin their version of the even flow bin so a big bin for putting it your sellers so it looks looks pretty big this one actually looks pretty heavy duty built so that's nice it's nice when they build them heavy enough that you're not gonna have to worry about breaking everything nice big hopper Looks like you can put, it has the attachments right here for the stingers, so you can put stingers on this one. So, pretty nice little uh, equipment here. 
Here we have American Pump and Drilling. These are the guys we take all of our our big pumps that pump all of the irrigation onto our fields. And they, uh, when you have a pump seize up or go out, we take the pump in and they tear it apart and rebuild it. So it's kind of nice. Here we have a, a big Kloss tractor. This one would be interesting. It would be kind of nice because you got wheels in the front, but then the back is tracks. So that would be an interesting tractor to run. If there was a dealer close to us, I would love to try one of these, but I think the nearest dealer is about two hours away. You got these little tractors here and then all along this side there's just all sorts of different vendors of lots of different things from propane to different pieces of equipment but they have all these little little tractors here here's a big sprayer everybody seems to be giving away these coolers so we've put in for a few different cooler drawings but this would be a fun little uh a fun little track fun little front end loader what was that a 321 tiny little 321 case that would be a fun little tractor to have. Fun little, I guess not a tractor, fun little loader to have. Here's one of their big, the big case sprayer. There's a little case tractor here, but what's cool is right here behind me is big drone. So this, these guys, they, they come and do all your drone spraying, so pretty cool. Got their mixing tanks and all sorts of stuff. Here's the big controller. But these drones would be pretty awesome. We would have actually thought about getting one and spraying all of our own ground with it. Right here, we've got some big, some crone balers. Again, this is another, another brand that we can't really do because there isn't a dealer near us, but they like to bring them to the expo because there's a dealer over in Twin Falls, which is about two hours away. And uh, yeah, so they bring them here. And then right behind me, I noticed this company has airless tires. So they've got not only pivot tires, so there's like your pivot tire, but like this is like a loader tire. So you've got like loader tires, skid steer tires, all sorts of airless tires here. This would be cool. That's what it would look like on a pivot. Right here we have a, a big Ranky pivot. So here's the Ranky, I think it's the Rain for Rent dealer. Right next to these big crones. Big 4x4. I mean, these would be an awesome baler. And then we have the JCB. We've got little excavators and little... Yeah, little skid steer with the door on the side. And it's a, teles, a teleskid. So it's like a telehandler skid steer. So that is an interesting little skid steer. That'd be a nice one to have. Because a telehandler is pretty handy. And then we've got some Kubota tractors over here. I've never seen a Kubota tractor this big. I only ever see the little ones. Right here, there's, these are baler stackers. It's like, this is what you can just drive through and it'll stack your bales for you. So, bale handling solutions. Pretty nice little deal. On the other side over here, we have a Trinity trailer. Right here we have some Fent tractors and some Massey Ferguson tractors. I believe this is the Agri-Service booth. And there's a horse disc right there. We actually demoed one of those. So, we do like Fent. Their, their new tractors are pretty nice. This is Lockwood's. This is their big mobile vac. So, this is what you would park at your cellar. And you dump your trucks in here, and then it goes through, and it sorts out everything so it gets out all your dirt clods gets out all your vines your rotten potatoes your rocks it's just a big mobile vac unit i'm sure there's a lot of uh, complicated stuff inside this thing but it's on its own trailer because it takes so much power to run it that it actually has its own motor on this end so it's got a big old diesel diesel motor to run this thing it's a monster. Here we have the cat booth. So we have cat loaders, skid steers, little telehandler, another little skid steer with a different attachment on the front, little mower. So all sorts of stuff. Other things the Lockwood has here. So here's one of their potato planters. This is just a little four row. So we run, it's the same planter, but we run a six row. So this is their four row air cup. It's got the cups on the front that suck the seat onto it. And then it's got all the all the system, the air and everything. In my opinion, this is one of the best planters out there. So if you want to plant at good speeds, we plant about five miles an hour. 
this is the planter for you. So, but this is just a four row. So they make four row, six row, they even make an eight row. So whatever your application is, you could definitely uh, get one of these. Right next to it, they have their, this is one of their harvesters. It's a four row harvester. It's got a folding boom on the top, but it's got dual fans, looks like. Fan on each side. Looks like it would be a pretty nice harvester. We don't run Lockwood, mainly because we like how the Spudnik is built. We feel like it's built a little bit heavier, but I'm sure this would be a really good harvester. This would probably be a pretty good, pretty good machine. It's got a nice big star table to get all your dirt and stuff out. Looks pretty nice. Here we have Milestone. So Milestone is built right in Blackfoot. So they make all sorts of potato equipment too. This looks like a big, a big piler to, for loading stuff. And then over here, if we walk underneath this, this is their, their big seed cutter. So this is how we cut. We actually have an old Milestone seed cutter, but this is their new, one of their new seed cutters. Just a lot bigger than ours, bit more capacity but essentially the same thing, cutting your seed potatoes. This is the back side. That's where your cut potatoes would come out and kind of sort out all your chips right there. So the little, the little slivers of potatoes drop out. And then you have this nice big table and it funnels it. This is one of their dusters. So this is where you put your chemical on to keep your seed from going bad. We have two old ones of these showing off all their nice equipment. Here's a big, uh, this is a vine chopper. Here's a big, a big pusher, for like silage and stuff. That'd be nice, nice for pushing things. Right here we have the John Deere booth. So they have a couple John Deere tractors, actually just one big tractor, and then they have one of their big sprayers over there. So here's the double L beds. So these are the beds, if we ever got any new potato beds, I think these are the ones we would get. The main thing we like about them, if the bolt breaks, you can just pull the roller out through this hole. So that's a super, super good design. We really like that. So if we ever got a new bed, it would probably be one of these just because of that. We have the, this is the Peak Ag booth. They have a Mayo table right here, a little belt. And then here's a Mayo uh, piler, but they sell Mayo and Harriston and they have all these, so Harrison makes a potato planter. They don't have one here, but it's got these, these big clamp, it's a clamp planter. So Harrison makes all sorts of potato equipment. There's a lot of companies, companies that make potato equipment. So we're gonna go over here to the Lemkin booth. We're, we're, we've been told they have a 40 foot uh, grain drill over here. So we're gonna look at it. So this is the Solitaire DT, which we have, but this is the 30 foot version. So it is wider than ours. Ours is not this wide. We would like to get the 30 foot version, but uh, yeah, they didn't have it when we bought ours. And now that we have ours, we don't wanna, we don't wanna trade it in on a different one just for the price. But yeah, this is their 30 foot. And then over here, we'll go over here and look at this as a 40 foot. So this is their 40 foot drill. So it doesn't have the, it doesn't have the wheels on the front, the Packer wheels and the discs. So this is just a drill, but it's a 40 foot drill, so. This thing is this thing is pretty massive definitely would be nice if you didn't have to do any any uh tillage or anything in front of it big 40 foot drill and then right here this is lemkin's new company they just bought kind of the logo's not on this side it's equalizer so this is an equal an equalizer air drill that is from the company they just bought from south africa there's the logo equalizer so we actually saw one of these when we went down to Arizona last year, saw it plant. And there are a whole bunch of awesome features on this thing. Because down in South Africa, they don't get any subsidies. So they build their stuff to be as efficient and as good as possible. So the farmer can make as much money as he can. So this is an amazing machine. I'm glad they're finally starting to make it here to the US. Everybody's got their various, their bulk beds. We've walked past many different bulk beds. Now we're to the other side of the, the Ranky booth. We have Double M, that's where we get a lot of our, our Spudnik rollers and parts and stuff. And then right here we have another big drone. Back side of the John Deere booth now. This is their big sprayer they have here. 
We don't use a sprayer. We have to hire it out because we just don't have the time to do all of our own spraying. But John Deere has all their equipment here too. So this is another company that makes, they make a seed cutter. And then this, instead of a duster, this is like an auger that your potatoes go through and it puts all your chemical on, puts your wet and your dry on. But this is their seed cutter. It's a little bit different, but same premise. Goes and cuts all the cuts all the potatoes with those knives right there. Here we have some New Holland stuff. They have this is the Pro Till, the Degelman. There's a Degelman disc back there. Then there's a bunch of New Holland things, skid steers, little telehandlers. There's a little field plane over there. And here's a here's a big fuel trailer right here. So this is the Thunder Creek fuel trailer. It would be so nice to have because you have all your depth and you have all your fuel. All your you can put all your grease and all your stuff in here. So you just take this out when you're servicing your stuff. It's even got a work light on it. Like this would be quite the trailer to have. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that little tour of the Ag Expo. There's a lot of equipment and there's a lot of companies that make potato equipment and they tend to all show it off here at the Ag Expo in Idaho. So if you enjoyed that, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button. I love you. And I'll see you in the next one.